by the end of the video you will have a cool flashlight with an animation, a cool reflective material and also a sound if you activate your flashlight and even another sound if you do deactivate it. So you'll have a pretty professional flashlight you can use for your Unity games. Hello guys, what is up? Welcome to another video on this channel and today we are actually gonna expand on our little flashlight project that we started in the last video. So as you can see this is what a current project should look like. I made a few um, changes or actually I just made one change and this change is that actually we now have a bigger ground and uh, some walls here. So um, by last video I actually made it so you can um, press F to activate and deactivate your flashlight and in this video we are just gonna expand on that so the first thing the first thing is we are gonna make our flashlight look a bit more like an actual flashlight so we are just gonna go and hit create material and just call it flash light material so now what we're gonna do is drag and drop our flashlight material on our flashlight good this should now have our material right here so we're just um going to actually uh, edit this material so first we are gonna um just go here and put the metallic up here maybe we put it to 0.8 good also the smoothness we can put it to i don't know maybe 0.82 and you can actually adjust the color here if you want a red flashlight then you can make it like that i'm just gonna make a, a dark flashlight so i'm just gonna make it here a little bit more gray and now your flashlight should look a little bit uh, better and a little bit darker also and more like an actual flashlight you can see here the reflections look a little bit more realistic yeah so this is the first thing um, another thing that I want to do actually is make a flashlight sound once you've uh, once you activate and deactivate your flashlight and we can do this very easily I'm just gonna delete this um, we can do this very easily so just deactivate this cylinder yes um, we can do this by just going into our flashlight script and now we need another public game object here game object and we just call it flash light sound good now we are going to get this so in this one we are actually going to make another uh, active so just put flash light sound here and set, make dot set active and make here true good then this sound should actually play here good and here we should we want also make the flashlight sound dot set active to actually we want it to be false all right so here we're just going to set it to oh i misspelled that uh, false good now we need another sound so we're just gonna copy this so and just call it flashlight sound off good and we can also call this on maybe but don't forget to change it here too so here on and here on good now we just uh, make this here and flash light sound off dot 
set active false here and here we are going to make flashlight sound off dot set active to true good now we uh, need a sound actually so you can just record a sound of a real flashlight that you can just toggle on or off I don't have a, such a sound so I'm just going to use my door sound here uh, but of course uh, you will use your flashlight sound but I don't have one so I'm just going to use my door sound here which sounds like that and that was just a weird glitch uh, so now what you're going to do is you're just going to take it and drag it anywhere in your scene and this create this should create uh, an object that it has the same name as your um, sound so I'm just gonna call it flashlight sound good and um, then you wanna duplicate this object and under audio source you then want your um, flashlight to be another sound which is going to be flashlight off so just record a sound where you turn your flashlight off good I am um, I don't have any a flashlight um, sound for the off so I'm just gonna leave it like that so now you're going to um, get these two and just drag it onto the first person character here good and maybe under the flashlight here I don't know what those weird glitches are it's just really weird actually it never happens but now it seems to be happening so here you are going actually to just um, deactivate both and then go under your flashlight and here you have your sounds and the first one the on sound should be dragged into this and the off sound should be dragged into this thing here good now if we hit play and we press F you can hear this sound I'll make it a little bit louder for you So I hope you heard it actually. Now we have this awesome sound for our flashlight. So really awesome. The next thing that we are going to do is animate this cylinder and the spotlight. For this you are just going to drag the spotlight onto this onto the cylinder. And remember the cylinder is our flashlight object. And then you are going to, to you are going to animation. I have my animation here, but you can always exit it. But, uh, oh, not exit it. Uh, you can always open it, access it. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. By going to window, animation, and here you go to animation. Good. Now we are going to create a new animation, and you can just call it maybe flashlight animation uh, anim for animation so save it and then what you're going to do is actually you need this to be on here so just put those two to active again so now I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit and um, you are going to need to hit this red circle here and here you actually make your flashlight so you can just go to like 20 and then what you're going to do is you can actually um just change anything but change it back to normal so your animation is just an empty thing and then on the first here actually what you're going to do is you put your 
um, y axis to zero. I actually, I don't, you need to put it back here. So I let's just don't do that. Uh, so you see here, just put it onto a good number like one. And here, like, you here put it to one. Just put it to one. And in this first thing, you are going to make it like that. So in the animation, it goes like that. Good. Now you can actually leave it. And we can try and go into our scene. And this is now happening. Of course, you don't want it. So what you are going to do is you search for the animation. I have it here and uncheck the loop time. Good. Now it should not do this. Also, you need to deactivate your cylinder. Good. But now the thing is you need to um, just um, uncheck the cylinder one, not the spotlight one, only the cylinder one. Good. Now put it here and you can press F and your flashlight should animate. It should go from the ground to your head. So this looks actually much better than in the last video. So I think we made a pretty good progress. Also your flashlight now has a sound. And this is like actually a flashlight you could use in your game because this is actually uh, how many games do this like it's actually now a really professional flashlight that you can just use you have a cool material now a cool flashlight sound and even a cool little animation so that was it for this video i hope you liked it if you did and if you maybe want to see a part three of the flashlight where we actually make a flashlight model in blender and import it into unity and also finish our flashlight uh, just subscribe to my channel and maybe you can write a comment if you actually want it so i'll see you in the next video and bye